you, you talked about just sort of the, the difficulty of adapting to, to the bubble. Um, how much uh, have you sort of motivated yourself by reflecting that, you know, your teammates are taking cues from you and, and trying to see, you know, how you approach things and, and sort of approach kind of getting through this grind of three months here? Um, it's probably been the most challenging thing I've ever done as far as a professional, as far as uh, committing to something and actually, uh, you know, making it through. Uh, but uh, I knew what I was coming, what we were coming here for. Um, obviously, you didn't, I was, I would be lying if I sat up here and knew that everything inside the bubble, with what it would, you know, the toll that it would take on your mind and your body and, you know, and everything else. Because it's been, it's been extremely tough. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to compete for a championship. And that was my mindset. Once I entered the bubble, once I entered, uh, the quarantine process, the first, uh, two days, um, and then right from my first practice, my mindset was to, if I'm going to be here, um, make the most of it, um, and see what you can do and lock in on what the main thing is. And the main thing was for us to finish the season and, and compete for a championship. So that's just been my mindset. Um, you know, throughout these, I don't even know how many days it is. Whatever how many days it is, it feels like five years. So it really doesn't matter. But uh, I've been as locked in as I've ever been in my career. Usually during this postseason run, you black out from social media. You don't do it. But obviously you couldn't do it this year. You're in a bubble, away from family, important election coming up. How has that adjustment been for you during this time to have, you know, access to social media? And, you know, can usually try to eliminate distractions, but you got it right there handy. Yeah, um, I think in this particular case, um, everything about this year is different. Everything about 2020 is different. And uh, to make the most of it, you have to be able to adjust. And um, I've adjusted in the sense of um, understanding that there's also a, a, a bigger – uh, opportunity coming up as well in November while I'm still, you know, keeping the main thing, the main thing and the focus on, you know, leaving a legacy here and playing the game that I love to play and compete for a championship, but also um, letting my people know that I'm not, um, I'm not jaded and I'm not too distracted where I cannot um, continue to um, give the resources, uh, put the people in place to um, help them go to the places where they don't believe they can even go. So that's just, um, Sometimes, I mean, sometimes you do things that even you personally don't even believe that you can do. Um, but when you have a support system and you have a group around you that's just as motivated as you, you're able to um, be able to tackle um, a few things at once. I think every part of anybody's individual life, when they was able to grow, it never leaves you. And that's no different from me having my four years in Miami, uh, being around um, you know, with that culture, growing. Um, you guys don't realize, uh, you know, talk about it, but I, I went to Miami when I was 25 years old. I was 25, you know, and I spent my you know, 25 to 29. So I was still growing. I was still a kid and still trying to figure out who I am as a person and as a man growing while still trying to compete for a championship every single year. Um, and I grew and they allowed me to grow and we pushed each other every single day. And like I said, I fit perfectly um, in that culture because I work just as hard as anybody else. Um, I, I, I show up to work and uh, I don't leave until I feel like I was as great as I was. And do you always become successful out of that? Are you always going to win? Are you? No, it doesn't happen like that. But, you know, you're able to sleep a little bit better at night uh, when you know you, you punch your clock. And, um, and how am I different today than, than two years ago when I entered the finals? Um, a little bit more gray hair in my beard.